G. Now knowing what this loading screen actually is, it doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel the same whatsoever. You know the truth. We know the whole truth. Nothing will ever be the same. Okay, here we are, back in the old admin building. Objective. Find a way back to the others. Well, I haven't gotten anyone else killed so far. I still don't forgive myself for what I did to Jaime. But, if you guys want to see me try and do, like, a... Like, another run and try and see if, and get the good ending, uh, I would be down for that. Alright, well, hang on. I'm just exploring to make sure I didn't uh, pass anything in here. Oh, toilets. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, there's a killer on the loose, and, you know. I'm looking at the toilets. <sighs> I have to sneeze some uh, right now, but it won't come out. Okay, that needs a key. <laughs> Alright, let me go back and explore that alt other way. Uh, hopefully Frank Soda isn't catching up to us. So it looks right now like Linda's the only one with the ability to... Uh, Surely there's a way to the other side. Alright. Okay, so there's literally nothing... Oh, wait. Never mind. No. Yes, a key. It's probably that locker key. <laughs> um, okay, now this is the locker I need, right? Alright. Use item. What do we have here? My dear Franklin Norman, in a locker this was had some serious issues. It's upset it upsets me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you you needn't be be withdrawn drawn with me. Tell me everything, my dear. You know whatever happens I'll always be here for you. Nothing in all the world could ever stop me loving you. I will always be in your life. Three weeks ago you told me you would be you told me making friends was hard. I can sympathize, my love. Precious here are ever worth making. Every time I, they open their mouths, all you can feel is insects crawling under your skin. And every vapid look and force you smile, pretending to know to understand what they say. You are too important to be wasted on them. But one day you'll find the place I've always told you about, where you can truly appreciate how much smaller they've always been. Until then, we endure. But you do not become. Write back to me soon, Norman. I know you won't be leave your mom waiting too long to hear from her only grandson. I will always watch you. Love, Ma. Not creepy whatsoever. Grandma letter. Frank was left psychologically vulnerable by his difficult upbringing. Uh... That's understandable. If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Objective: Go back and Come find the missing right. boiler part. Those are gonna burn my face off. That's my only way out. Uh. 
Um, alright. I need to find a part. Is there anything back here? I'm assuming the other part is further back, maybe over to where I found the key at. Uh, maybe that's it right there on the counter. No, not just a cup. No, nothing over here. God, those light sounds are just annoying me. They're gonna give me a headache. Come on. Maybe over here in the showers. I hope I don't have to go through the toilet. Oh, here we are. You're coming with me, buddy. Item added. Okay. Now we gotta go shut off the boilers. I wonder... I'm pretty sure... I wonder if there's like a... Option like to her... If you go through the boilers you just become like hideously scarred. But we probably couldn't do that because Linda's in the present day. Can't waste time. that do it? No, that did not do it. Okay, so I had to make him go through the red. That makes sense. Okay, there we go. Okay. Find a way back to the others. Oh, nope, get back down there. Anything underneath the stairs? Oh, that doesn't sound good whatsoever. Back down in like the sewer area? I am. Uh oh. Marlin. Bad dog found Merlin's collar. God. Get out of this maze. I'm gonna take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just live a little. Honestly, just live, period. Okay, I'm getting you out as fast as I can, Linda. Um, Alright, so we got our way past that side. Uh, this is just my trinket box. Which, I haven't gotten any new trinkets. That's locked. 
about this. Okay. Oh, great. More tight spaces. Is this just taking me around to that other door that I couldn't get through? Pick up. Frank Stone. Fuck. November 12th. This is Frank Stone's journal. November 12th, 1962. I have not heard for it. I did as instructed, but for weeks I have been left alone. Have I failed? Did I not perform my purpose as I was told? Five names I've taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Every night, I dream of the forest, of the darkness all around me. I'm afraid. Too scared to move forward or cry out, because it seems a foot beyond the fog. Sometimes I can shape their harmless from this writings in this like snakes. The hiss of their screams burns my ears. If they are evil, why do they scream? How am I to know evil alone? How can I be sure not all serial heroes has not been lost to sin? Should I not just destroy them, purge this town completely? I will not act without instructions. I stand alone in the forest, waiting on to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. I wait. J January 8th, 1963. Finally, she comes back to me, and she is happy. I have well exceeded her expectation. She says she has found the root of evil, the source of broth that is eaten at this town. I said beneath its foundation. How it's tested the leader of the wicked covenant. From him the branches of evil stench and infect everything. But he is beyond my righteous path. Although he rots in a pit of hell, his spawn still lingers here. DP, BK, LR, JR. Four names, four more trials that I must conquer. She must she tells me not to rush. I cannot make a mistake. I will not fail. I will use the very fires that test her birth to create to carry out my task. I will turn his creation into the thing that destroys his legacy. I will purify it as I will this town. Man and beast, metal and flesh, bound by fire. Then I will reach the other side and see what is paternal, to be divine. I know what to believe. Uh, through the forest, the path is clear, the fire waits for me. I will not be afraid. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is he been dreaming of, like, the entity and the fog and the forest this entire time? Because that would make very much sense. So he's he's not been good. He does not have a he's not had a good up. Frank was heavily influenced by someone who made him believe his crimes was a righteous act. Oh, that's something you don't see every day. You discovered Frank Stone's old nest. I, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. The last time anybody saw me was two, was February 16, 1963. I'd spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty, Daryl, and a few others down at the Cedar Creek. By the time it started getting dark, I was pretty wasted, and when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt, I got kind of mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Brother, have I paid for it. Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guy. I guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but when I woke up, this this guy, there, a big tall guy, it was really dark and I could, but I could still see him staring at me, cold mean eyes, looking right at me. Holy mother of pearl! I think this I'm. Is, this is awful. I think I'm on underground. I hear noises above me. It sounds like a factory or something. It might be in the mill. I've seen a few. I've seen the guys a few times. Those damned eyes staring at me. I heard him whispering stuff, but I don't know what he's saying. I think he's going to kill me. I'm so scared, Mom. I wish I could see you again. I wasn't the greatest son, but you were always there for me. I could have asked for I couldn't have asked for a better mom. Maybe you're maybe you're better off with me without me, I don't know. If you read this letter, tell Rusty I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. I was acting like a jackass, same as always. Just know that I'm sorry for everything. I love you. Jeez. Oh, it's the doctor. What the hell are these things? Oh, 
Okay, so is this not even the way I'm meant to be going? Oh. Back where I started? Okay, then. Ah, <sighs> god damn it. Oh. This is where I had to go. Alright, up I go. Oh, back in this old place. Back here. Back where it all began. So now we're back in the present day. Chris. Uh, are you okay? Uh, B Bonnie? Can't I? Be confused. Your mom? But that's. How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was. She was just here, but we we, we were. Ugh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? That doesn't sound good. Oh, this is so much for Chris to unpack. She's going to learn about a future, a future from her design. I'm not gonna fucking help. Okay, uh, is there a switch on that thing? Yeah, I see it. Okay, you should flip it. Ah, Christ! Try using that pole. I'm clicking, I'm clicking as much as I can. Stand shush!
Don't make me choose. Oh, thank goodness. Get out of the way, Stan! Go back to the platform! <laughs> Fate changed. Maddie helped you use the sarcophagus. Chris was successfully sent back to 1980. I'm so sorry, Jaime. This is all my fault. All this happened because you wanted to shoot your fucking movie. I think it's best I just leave the machine shop. Is that Objective, is find the there? others. I've already explored this room, so... Slow it down. If we can slow it down, we might be able to stop it. We can't let it hurt anyone else. Chris, when you were in the machine shop, in Frank Stone's hideout, what really happened? I, I went... It took me somewhere, and now when I try to remember, it, it doesn't make any sense. It it's like it was all right there, right there in, in my mind, and now it's just... Slipping away, but it was real. I swear it was real. Whoa, slow down. Linda! <laughs> Bonnie! Whoa. Oh, hey, hey, it's, it's okay. 
It's okay. We're all gonna die here. There's no way to escape. I'm so sorry. Oh God. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. He's... He's me at money gone. He's gone. Are, are you? I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. How are you so calm right now? I'm not. But I know that the only way we're gonna get through this is if we can just keep it together. That's true. That is very true. What is that thing out there? No idea. But I know it's bad news. And we gotta get as far away from it as possible. Great idea. So how the fuck do we do that? There's the storm drain. We could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. Oh, game, don't do this to me, please. I don't think we should tell Bonnie about, like, Madison or anything. She's clearly going through a lot of stuff right now. It's coming. Oh, no. <laughs> Frank Stone is coming. <laughs> Closing in the news. What is it? What do you see? I don't see anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. Getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> what? Ah. Uh. Nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I I wouldn't even know where to start. This night just keeps going and going. Yeah. But you know something? We were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Well. Do you know what I mean? These only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't? Well, what do we do now? Kinda only got one option, you know? Which is? Get the fuck out of here as soon as humanly possible. What about Linda? Powder! <sighs> Hopefully we'll just run into her along the way. Stan's just like, he was this big ego and then like he's freaking out. Tell me what was going on with that kid? Kid? Girl in the sarcophagus. I don't know much more than you do. She said she knew my mom, but it didn't make any sense. Not much around here does lately. I wish I had more time to talk to her. I just hope she got back to wherever she was trying to go. Okay, locked. That bed looks pretty tempting right now, not gonna lie. Looks like the kind of bed they'd use to sacrifice virgins in some old horror movie. You think Augustine lured us in here on purpose? So she could sacrifice one of us? Well, yeah. there is one way we could ensure our safety. Gross, dude! <laughs> Honestly, uh... Find a key for the box. Oh, it's the trickster. I was literally fucking playing as this asshole earlier. The other day. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What's that? Uh, it's a pendant. There was a picture of it in that book. It explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... Huh. Yeah. Well, maybe I should hold on to it, just in case. Just in case it actually works? Yeah. I mean, I almost got killed once tonight. Indifferent. 
Sure. Fine. Take it. You gave the pendant you found to Stan. Hopefully I don't fucking regret it. Looks boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. The etymology of East England, the history of loss and hundreds of others. If you've ever wondered why Bedfordshire is called Bedfordshire, questioning the meaning of Charland, or simply being confused on why Woodbridge doesn't have a wooden bridge, Dr. Dollard may have the answers. A historian specializing in the east in the east of England, John D. Dollard literally wrote the book of history in the nation's tower with his door stopping encyclopedia of East England. Well, that's certainly something, isn't it? Uh, now with the etymology of East England, the history of the Lowe's and other hundreds, he returns to the region to unravel the history of towns and its complex webs of belief and conflicts that give it its name. Certainly something, I will say. The changing of nature, the changing nature of language, often results in the lack of modern consequences in the etymology of certain place names. Even those that seemingly patent, patently obvious may be hiding a Madrid of meaning. For example, there is the East England town named Woodbridge that historians doubt ever had a literal wooden bridge. Even if it had, such a thing is unlikely to have been considered noteworthy given the innovation of the town site and the technology of its oldest record settlements. Hello. Now that's not boring. Blood may blood may be that binds us to this world, for upon the spilling of the life's blood shall a man find himself moving into the next. Why then, if a soul may naturally move from one reality to a higher one by shedding of this book, should we be surprised to learn of such shedding may, may draw the gaze of that high reality? We might therefore conclude that it is simply acting life, not any passage of our souls that bring these worlds together. In doing so, we might form our own gates between this world and the other, and in doing so, perchance move through some gate we live, of what wisdom we might glean from the worlds of ancients, and the knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away. How to return is another matter, if the death of our own. Okay, so this entire time we've been learning that Augustine is apparently, both Augustine and uh, Frank Stone have been trying to get to the uh to i guess the fog huh that is pretty slick hmm. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? I hope you're right behind me, Stan. No, I want to go downstairs, dummit. Go downstairs, thank you. <laughs> okay, where am I now? Okay, that's to go that way. This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court-mandated psychological session 5 with patient Frank Stone. March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's I hear you've Augustine. had a bad week since our last conversation, Frank. An attack that's on an orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling? This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others, to punish wow, them. Wow, that's I don't believe certainly it something. Is wholly errant. These sessions are all about taking responsibility, Frank. Not just for your past, but for your future, too. Yes. You have a future, and it could be boundless. 
You simply have to trust me. Does Frank Stone ever speak? Dr. Lieber exerted a strong psychological hold over Frank Stone. Uh, that's my trinket box. Okay, and it looks like my next collectible is over here. Oh, it's the twins. Twins are creepy. That's just a fact. <laughs> oh, Jesus Criminies, fuck you. Sacrificial link. Or knife, sorry. I don't know why I said link. Alright, well, let's go this way now. Oh, a glass room. Certainly will be the most protective. Yes, we can see where people are coming from, but no, they get to freaking shoot at us if it's not like... Unless it's like bulletproof glass or something. You need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! I'm so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? I don't know if I would have said this an hour ago, but after what I just experienced, I think Sam might be right. Augustine's lying to us. Whatever she's up to here, it's way, way over our heads. You should have seen this chamber and the girl. I don't trust Augustine, but I trust this man even less. At least whoever Augustine is, she's not pretending you could just to be someone from to me. your past. Oh, great, out of the frying pan. I don't like any of what's going on anymore. I think we should just get the fuck out. Is this the movie you made? Yeah, it is. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son. I can't do that. You can't do that? I kind of, sort of, might have already made a deal with Augustine. What did you do, Sam? It was before anybody else got here. I, I just went ahead. You fucking weasel, you are lying to us from the second we got here. Come on now, it wasn't personal. <sighs> Unfucking believable. I didn't even know you. Augustine just, you know, paid me a little extra to hang around, keep you company. It <laughs> sounded fun. <laughs> hey, you get what you wanted? 
You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here? Oh, so are we going back to that moment where we just were? Murder Mill. Bonnie can't die, because then that would mean Maddie wouldn't exist. Stop fucking freezing and loading, please! Maddie's not dead, right? Maddie can't be dead. Wait, why is Chris go why is Chris here? I think it's about time I just kinda made my idea. Why was Chris there? Because I sent Chris back to the past? We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. Right here until I come back. Do you understand? But Dad. Okay, so who am I playing as now? Oh, I'm back playing as Sam. Is this the end game? No, 
Okay. Objective. Find the fucking teenagers. Shit. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. Probably getting one of the worst fucking outcomes right now. Back here, a nightmare repeating itself. I gotta find them. Find Chris and Linda in the storm drain. Oh, that's the camera. That's gonna. That's gonna make me move on, but let me just check around for any collectibles first. Okay, no, nothing here. Nothing over here. Anything over here? And there's nothing over here, correct. Alright. Oh! Well, Okay, I know what to do. Something about this camera. Maybe it's the key to all of this. Gotta go after them. I'm wasting too much time. This isn't right. It feels like. This is the final showdown. I feel it. I feel like it, I feel it in my gut. Spirit. Another collectible. 
I wonder if I can get all the relics. God, every time it makes that sound, I think my phone's going off or something. I gotta be ready to pop this whenever it... There's nothing here. I gotta help her before it's too late. Jesus Christ, I hope I didn't take too long. Okay, not this way. Over here. Okay, where the fuck do I go now? Come on, get the fuck away from me! Not too late. You escape from Frank Stone in the storm drain. Can you stand? Go. Get up. I'll hold it off. Come on, please, I can't let anyone else die! Come on!
Jesus Christ. Did we stop it? Is it, is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. Hughes Augustine, I didn't... You got your damn movie? What more do you want? You, you lied to me. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. You knew I was grieving, and you took advantage of me. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for, and a lot of hell to pay. Gonna make a good choice. <laughs> Sacrifice yourself. Jesus! Why is Chris in the shot? Can you fix?
What the fuck are you? What are you doing, you out, you fucking idiot? Find a way to power the elevator. Please tell me you understand what... What? What the fuck just happened back there? Yeah. Believe me. I wish I knew. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go through here then. If we can get that working, we could probably power the elevator. Let's try it. Both of you should have hopped on it. <laughs> Alright, Augustine Lieber. Okay, here's the other part. Fuck, get off the corners! Hurry up! I can't fuck up any skill checks right now. I can't even go for great skill checks. It's too much of a risk. The music's getting more intense. Please hurry up and finish. Alright, Tinker repaired all the generators. Out. 
I'm helping her. I gotta fucking help her. Back in the time travel chamber. Madison. I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one on one. The fuck are you? What have you done? Ah, oh, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelette without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. Augustine is fuck lied. you, Augustine. Give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain. All this trauma. God. You just need to tell me you want me to. Fuck you. Let me just think it over. Go fuck yourself. And I'm so very sorry for you. No, you're not. Just, you should have just jumped out the fucking window. Jesus fucking Christ. Please, I'm clicking. I clicked as fast as I fucking could. No! <laughs> I thought the fans of my fucking crush!
Was that the- did I get the bad ending? That's what you get, bitch! I'm so disappointed in myself. I worked so hard to do the right fucking thing, so I failed. This is not a movie. This is not a movie. This is real life. You're the director. You're in control. Technically, I am. Okay, I just need to check to make sure there's no collectibles. I mean, the, this world's fucking done for. I fucked up so bad that this world's about to die. Literally everyone is dead because of me. This is a good idea. This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is this the same? Am I learning what happened after the events of Murder Mill? This isn't what happened. This is different. 
It's in there, all right. What do we do with it? We, uh... We separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can, and we never, never let them come back together again. Okay, I was gonna say, why can't I go through? That can't be our only option. I can't believe I'm actually suggesting this, but why can't we just burn the film? If this film strip really is holding him somehow, destroying it completely might just set him free. You don't know that. I don't want to take that chance. Do you? We can't let it hurt anyone else. Best laid plans. Yeah, best laid plans, alright. I tried to have a plan. Not have everyone fucking die, but I fucking failed at that. Whatever happens next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? Wait, am I going backwards? I'm going backwards, aren't I? Oh, is this just for a collectible? Hours ago, this would have freaked me out. So is this like what happens when a new killer and stuff joins? Like, they end up, like, picking up, like... They end up, like, taking the world apart and destroying it. Oh, it's the campfire. Hello? It's Dwight and Meg. Can you hear me? Or maybe Claudette. We all have to go. Something's coming. We can't stay here.
The campfire completed the story. Okay, first off, I don't think I got the worst ending possible, but I sure as shit didn't get the best ending. So many people died because of me. It's... It's actually insane. Okay, so in order to fully explain what I think just happened... When Augustine used the events of time travel in order to manipulate us in, in 1980 to go and try and capture Frank Stone, to re-rank in Frank Stone from the mill and capture him on camera. And then we did that. We ended up unfortunately getting Jaime killed, but we did manage to save everyone else. Actually, we might have gotten Bonnie killed as well. Fuck. I think the only reason that we didn't get killed was- I think Chris was the only one we didn't get killed. Uh... We ended up- Um, and then in 2024, we all united at Augustine's Manor, we learned about the events, and what we basically found out was that Augustine had been reassembling the film pieces in order to bring Frank Stone out of his prison, which was in the film itself. And from there, uh, Frank Stone just went on a killing spree. He killed Stan, he killed Sam, he killed Maddie, even though I fucking aced that fucking skill check. And then, uh, afterwards, he, he killed Augustine so that it could be so that she could be sacrificed to the entity, and Linda ended up becoming the survivor of this world. So I guess whenever there's enough sacrifices uh, for for Frank's for our killer, then the entity just fully brings it into the world, and uh, they choose the survivor related to the killings, and. That's when it attracts them, and they get camped into the fire. And we saw, like, we saw Dwight there, I think we saw Claudette there. And so they're just all waiting at the campfire, waiting for the next trial to begin. And they kind of just are just living there like that. They don't really have hope left in it because there's no escaping the Entity's realm. So I wonder if at some point down the line, Frank Stone is gonna be, like, uh... Frank Stone is going to be the killer, a new killer, and Linda will be the new survivor. I wonder if they'll call Frank something like... Oh, continue. Is there a post credit scene? There is. this collected all the relics nice
Is that like the secret uh, cutscene I get for collecting all the relics? Okay. Cutting room floor. Let me just look at that. The cutting floor is a timeline that takes is a timeline that tracks the story of the casting of Frank Stone. You can see the current path through the story as well as the places of the story branches depending on your choices. You can jump into previously played points in different stories to change the outcomes, unlock different branches, and find collectibles that you might have missed. Crowbar use, trusted tom, storm drain, furnace chamber, furnace ramp, stone blinded, pushed off pipe, stone stopped, faded memory, lonely road, pulled over, filmmaker, lobby, parlor, Drink declined. Storage shed. Jaime apologized. Casa Rivera. Bonnie gave money. Main Street. Curiosity chosen. Curiosity. Price accepted. The Drugstore, Garrett Manor, Followed Stan, Atrium, Memory Shared, Production Meaning, Highway's Garage, Storm Drain, River Cross, Creek South, Storm Drain, Shoot, Yard. Yeah, I missed that collectible there because I couldn't fucking find the handle. Machine shop, passageway, Chris saved Robert, Lair, stayed together, helped Chris, Jaime killed, Sanctum, Atrium, Sanctum, Intruder kicked, Pursued, Furnace, Escaped Wagon Shed, Wagon Shed, Corridors, corridor. Maddie through switch. Oh, so that's how that's how Chris could have died if I didn't through the switch. Search, archive, archive, archive. Linda watched film. Okay, underbelly. I guess that's a place to where I could have gotten someone killed. Hologram. Chris met Maddie. Chris chose to return. Chris left the present. Okay, so that's probably how Chris could have died. That's probably the way Chris could have died. Reunion. Chris returned. Machine shop. Observation corridor. Furnace. Maddie warded off stone. Bonnie hooked. Screening. Maddie comforted. Haunted. Storm drain. Sam weakened stone. Final stand. Sam defeated stone. Curtain call. Sam consumed. Hunted. Linda fixed generator. Both escaped. Mattis, Maddie refused Augustine. Maddie escaped. Maddie killed. Okay. 
Okay, altar, altar. Augustine betrayed. The campfire. Linda escaped. Woods. Linda survived. Figures emerge. Figure emerges. Wow. That's a lot. I'm gonna try maybe play through this one more time to try and get the good ending. I'm not gonna try and explore all the endings because that's a lot of time and dedication. But I want to thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, the next one might not come immediately because I'm gonna I'll probably have to play through a massive chunk of the game again. So that's gonna be coming out a little bit later, maybe part of spooky season. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe with the notification bell so that way you never miss a single video. Other than that, I've been Gamer Plays, and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, later.